In today's lesson, I'm going to show you guys how you can easily add makeup to beauty shots and portraits in post-production using Photoshop. Let's begin. Hey guys, this is Eric Vasquez here from TeachMeToDesign.com. And today, in part of our 30 Tips in 30 Days video series, I want to show you guys how you can take a regular portrait shot and add makeup to it very easily. So you'll see here we have this beautiful shot of a young woman here in Photoshop. And, um, you know, let's say we want to add some eyeshadow or change the color of the lipstick or maybe add some blush or anything like that. Um, you know, it's, it's very easy to kind of do this in post if it's something that, you know, maybe you didn't have makeup on hand the day of a shoot. Um, or maybe it just wasn't your, your best day, so you can come in and um, always fix that afterwards in Photoshop. So uh, to do this, the first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer and switch over to my brush tool by pressing B on the keyboard. And you'll see on the top here you've got a few options for your brushes, one of them being the opacity of the brush. A good way to, you know, a quick way to change the opacity of the brush is to use the, uh, the number keys on your keyboard you'll see it kind of goes by uh, increments of 10. You know, if you press 3, it changes to 30, 4, 40, but you can also type in, you know, 45, 56, pretty much anything. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave it at a pretty low opacity of about 20%. From there, I'm just kind of selecting a, a light blue color, and I'm just going to start to click, you know, over and around the eyes. From there, I'm going to come over here and change the blending mode of the layer to color. Then click uh, Add a Layer Mask and switch back to your brush tool. Make sure that you have a solid black selected and just kind of click, you know, a few times over the eyebrows, pretty much all the areas where you, you know, wouldn't normally see the makeup, especially on the eyes. And, um, you know, cleaning up the edges is, is very important uh, when it comes to the believability of an image in Photoshop. So I would very much uh, encourage you guys to, you know, normally take your time with this, especially if it was for, you know, a big client or anything like that. Um, but you can come in here and kind of soften it up a little bit more so that it's a little bit more subtle. All right, then I'm going to create another new layer and essentially do the same thing uh, with, you know, kind of a reddish, a little bit less saturated red color. And just click, you know, once or twice here over on the cheeks. And again, change the blending mode to color. All right, and one more, I'm gonna add one more layer here, just so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna change the color of the lipstick. And you know, if at any point in time you're not totally satisfied with the color that you've picked, I'll show you how you can easily change the color. Let's take the lips for example. Say I want this to be, um, you know, more of an orangey color or blue or anything like that. You can come down here um, hold down the Alt Option key on your keyboard and then click on the adjustment layer icon. From there, when the menu pops up, we're going to go with Hue Saturation. And then you'll be prompted with this, where you want to say Use Previous Layer to Create Clipping Mask. And what that means, once you check it off, um, you'll see over here in the palette there's a little arrow pointing down. And that means that it's attached to this layer below. So just really quick so you can see what's happening. I'm dragging the saturation all the way to the left and that's making you know the lips totally gray you know void of any color at all if I undo the clipping mask you'll see it's it's affecting every layer from here down but by holding alt option you'll see that the cursor changes to this little down arrow and if I hover between these two layers I can then click and it will apply a clipping mask so you kinda see how that works um, but for the purposes of this, I, I don't want her to have gray lipstick because uh, it just doesn't look very good. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and change the saturation slightly to a, a more natural looking color like that. I'm going to come down and add another layer mask and then just kind of clean it up a little bit around the edges. Just the corners of the mouth, a little bit below the lips, like so. Okay. And what I'm going to do from here is click on layer 1, the first layer that we um, added some eyeshadow, hold down the shift key and click on the hue saturation layer up top, and then press command G to put it into a group folder. 
here you can kind of uh, click on and off the visibility of the layer to see the before and after. It's subtle, but it looks slightly more like a glamour, fashion kind of shot. And if you want to push it even further, you can, you know, create further adjustments, like we'll do another hue saturation adjustment layer and just boost the saturation a little bit and maybe one more adjustment layer, let's do a levels adjustment layer and just drag th this uh, white handle to the left slightly to kind of increase the highlights. You can see what's happening here. You want it to be more subtle than that, but I'm just kind of, you know, showing you guys. And if you drag the black handle from the left to right, you'll be, you know, increasing the, the darkness and the, and the contrast of the image. But again, you know, turn the visibility of the layer on and off so that you can see what you're doing. And I'm just going to throw both of these layers on the top. You'll notice neither of these need clipping masks because you want it to affect every layer below. And lastly, go ahead and, and see your before and after image here. And you'll see how quickly and easily you can kind of turn it from this, you know, ordinary beauty shot into a more high-end, uh, you know, fashion type of editorial image like this. So I hope you guys have found this video useful. And uh, be sure to sign up for our email list and let us know how we can help you design better. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.